Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, everyone. So, let's take a look at our duelist level. It's already at 102, as you can see. So, that improved really fast, I must say. Let's see, there's a couple things I can do. I can actually take on Esperoba, and actually I probably will right now. So, let's do it. I'm gonna come over here and talk to this guy. Actually, wait a minute. No, there's one thing I need to do first. I need to come down here and talk to this guy. Joey's here now, that should be Bones. Yo, Shiny. Hey, I did it, man. I wasted no time in getting my first locator card. How are things going for you, Shiny? Hey, way to go. We've only started, but hey, hang tough. Let's duel. Sure, I'll spar with you. Okay, let's duel. So, with this guy, I believe he gives you like a pretty decent amount of money, maybe, or something. I think so. That's why I'm showing it off. But as always, he's not going to be tough, you know. All these duels are pretty simple in the beginning. Uh, okay, just attack with you again. Sure, I'll just attack with Doron. There's no point in using the effect at the moment. I'll save that for later. Oh, yeah, one thing I should mention is that there are some cards that are in Reshuffle for Destruction that are not in this game. And the reason why is because Reshuffle was essentially the sequel to this game, so it came out later. And thus more cards were already available, you know, by the time it came out. So even though, like... Let's see, there's a... I'm trying to think of a card that actually doesn't exist in this one, but I can't think. I really can't think at the moment, but there are a couple, for sure. There are definitely a few. Like, I think all the duplicators are here. There's Doron, there's Revival Jam, there's Spirit of the Books, Ancient Lamp, and Toadmaster. So yeah, I think they're... no, they're all here. Like, I don't know about other effects, though. Because Beast King is here, and so is Fiend's Hand. I think the Kariba Multiply thing is here too. So, I don't know. I mean, I think I'll think about it eventually. Like, I'll think of something. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... S Dude! No, damn it, I should have discarded a card first. I wasted. And I got shit, I guess I still got pure shit. Oh my god. Well, at least we lost. Okay. Abyss Flower for the kill. Okay, increased by 5 and 500 Domino was obtained, and I got Alligator Sword Dragon. Ooh. Pretty useful attribute monster there, you know? Darn, I lost. Well, it's good that it's only you. And better get rolling. Shiny, in the finals, I won't be this easy. Okay, sure. I can say so. So that's Joey defeated, and I'm gonna come up here and duel against you. I have to duel? I have to duel you? Okay, I'll duel you then. I can't pass. Whatever. Let's duel this weird, this a weird haired guy, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and put this card in defense mode. Put that. Turn end. Ha ha ha, you died. Hmm. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna attack with these two weak monsters. Hopefully they can both survive. If not, then I'll think of something else. I don't know. We'll see. Shoot. You're your freaking la la leons, man. How dare you. Stop drawing shitty cards. Jesus. Give me my more info. Okay. That makes things a little bit easier. Don't draw light. Don't you dare. Okay. There's Doron, go ahead and attack. Just be aggressive at the moment. There's Morinfin, go ahead and attack as well. Down to 3550 attack. Oops. Light points, attack. What the heck? Uh, I'll attack with you, sure. Okay, I'm down to 1100 light points now, which means it's pretty much over. The duel is over. I'm just gonna attack with Doron. Yep, that's it. I win. So I think there's actually three duels in a row here that I have to do. But you can go back and, you know, heal in between, so it's not actually literally in a row. Kaminari attack. Ooh. Okay. Big brother. I'm getting my big brother to beat on you. What? You were the one that was like, you better duel or else you can't pass. Like, you were the guy that was intimidating me. You were, like, threatening me, man. And now you're crying and, you know, being a wuss about this? Really? Uh, I'm gonna put this guy in defense mode. I know I could put door on first, but whatever. Really? Really? 
Well then. But I really look I can't use Doron. Oh my. Well, this sucks. Um. I'm, I guess I'll put this guy. Sure, go ahead and attack. Don't you dare summon a thunder. Don't you dare. Thank God. Okay. I'm gonna summon this guy now. Bat. Bat. Okay, that was a, you know, a little bit of a shaky start. Oh yeah, one more thing I should mention. I forgot about this. Because I, I was just like, oh yeah, shaky start, you know? But in this game, uh, whatever life points you lose, it doesn't carry on over after the duel. It does not. Like, for example, what are my life points right now? Actually, I stole 8,000. Yeah, I could... Dude, that's right, because he actually destroyed me with a weaker car. So he destroyed my monsters, but he didn't get to my life points. But I'm just saying that in this game, like, I'm sure you noticed this, but when you go back and, uh, and save, you don't actually heal your life points. That is because your life points don't heal in this game from that. They heal automatically after every duel, like any... Like any Yu-Gi-Oh game should be, you know? I don't know why Konami wanted to make Reach of a Destruction so difficult. Maybe because they saw that this game was too easy or something? And they're like, okay, we gotta step it up now. Maybe. Okay, go ahead and attack and... God damn it. One turn away. One turn away. Okay. Kill him. And with that... We win. So that's two duels down. Now there's one duel left, and this one's a little bit harder because it is actually Esperoba himself, the Immortal Thunder. Nice. I'm giving my big brother to beat on you. Oh, you, huh? You dare to pick on my lip? No, I did not pick on them. They were threatening me. Okay, there's a difference, green-haired guy. Yeah. My big brother's psychic deck is the best. It's the ultimate. Yeah. Okay, let's duel. The fact that I'm going to rule over all the duels. Well, it's a law that holds for the entire universe. If you're going to run, now's the time. I'm going to put my locator card on the line. But you. I'll see you out of this tournament. That'll be punishment for picking on my brothers. Okay. Let's duel. Alright, so I started with some pretty bad cards, but luckily I can have this card anyway, so I can just go ahead and put, like... I'm gonna put Flame Viper in defense mode. The inexperienced spy. My entire hand is revealed. La la Leon. Ooh, luckily I did that. Okay, give me a good card, please. Well... I'm actually not gonna do it this turn. Because what if he draws, like, a Hain Hain or something, like what his brother did? He's gonna destroy my sandstone, you know? Okay, perfect. So I think that this guy's the flame wrapper is too weak. Oh shoot! Sacrifice for you. Bam. But yeah, it seems that Esperoba has a number of lightning monsters. Oh no, that's what I was afraid of. I mean, luckily I have that, but my god, man. At least I'm managing though. I'm managing. You know, I'm managing to manage. I was about to say that, actually. Like, I'm managing to manage. Jeez. Bolt Escargo. Um, let's attack. Okay. So now I can freaking sacrifice you, put Bolt Escargo, and attack you for 1400 damage. Very nice. You are down to almost halfway. Another defense mode. Attack with Abyss Flower. And Bolt Escargo. And... Sure, you. Pop the trick. Pretty sure you'll get destroyed, dude. I'm just saying, you're too weak. Yep, I knew it. Okay, so I just drew a little Chimera. I'm just gonna sacrifice you, though, for more Rinfin. Which means you are now one turn away from losing. Oh. Too bad you're vulnerable now. I can just do this and win. Okay. That's that, and with that we obtain 30 more deck capacity and 800 domino. And Jinzo, a very powerful card, but look at that cost. Oh my god, 231. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Okay. So they run away. Yep. I just beat your big brother. 
You jerks that threaten my life. My duelist level is already at 117. Whenever you beat one of those big duelists, not only do you get 30 deck capacity, but you also gain a big boost to the duelist level. That's what's happening. Okay, so when, once you do that, I believe if you go over here... Um, actually, never mind, not yet. There's one more thing I need to do first. I forgot. I think I have to beat Rex Raptor, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Possibly. Because I have three now. So if I actually come over here... To Rex Raptor... Oh, no, I need to go over here, right? I think so. Let's see. But listen. We were all beaten by those... By these guys wearing hoods. They drove us out of the graveyard. I liked it there. I like its darkness. It fills me with anguish. Okay, let's go then. This guy. Who the hell are you? All the duelists around here have defeated. You too shall join the vanquished. Oh, shoot. It's Rare Hunter. So he begins with by putting a freaking Skull Servant in attack mode. What an idiot. Yeah, my Mask of Darkness is buffed up, by the way. I'm just saying. Very nice buff there. Because it's uh, the Yami field. This guy's buffed up too. I'm going to summon... Penguin Soldier. Left Arm of the Verbi- Yeah, this guy actually has Exodia. It's too bad he's too stupid to use his damn ability, you know? He actually plays the cards. Let's summon... Doron. As you can see, even this rare hunter is freaking simple. Thousand Eyes Idol, okay. That's fine, that's whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice both. And play you. To kill you. Pretty much did direct damage right there, because that thing has no attack. A thousand Eyes. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any light monsters, so I should not be worried. Let's summon this guy and try to kill you. Yes. So with that, I win. I win. 2,200. Wow. Gear goal in the Moving Fortress. Pretty decent card. But it can't be. Lose to you? How? How could this happen? Don't forget this. Well, you lost. Haha. -ha. You took out the goals? That's... M what the hell is that word? Never seen it before in my life. Okay, Bones. Go back. Go back to your place. So, now that I've done that, I... I think, the, is the park unlocked now? Still no, I think I have to beat Rexton. I think I have to. It's only once you obtain four locator cards, because I've already beaten Bones. Oh my god, I get in there. And Esperoba. And I start with one, so that's three already. So the fourth one is by dueling Rex Raptor. This guy. Yeah, what is it? I don't do with obvious losers. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. This guy starts to get, you know, a little bit tougher, I would say. Just gotta be careful about what you do, what choices you make. Oh my god, shitty cards. What the hell is this? Damn it! You freaking... Oh no. Acid Trapple, Eye Armor. Okay, so I need, like, one good monster. That's not what I meant when I said a good monster game. I meant a non-tribute monster. Sorry about that. The freaking game, I... I said it in a wrong way to the game. And now I might actually freaking die here. Shoot! That's not gonna help. Okay, please just sacrifice for something better. No! Sacrifice for something better, man. Okay, can I, like, please get a good card? That works! Oh no, but he just... Okay, never mind. I was like, oh no, but he just put another card face down. Which might have been a trap, but it wasn't. Okay, defense mode. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put, um... Let's put Bone Mouth, sure. If I attack this one. Yes! Got lucky there. Okay. So that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of you now. And put in Sandstone, who was nice buffed up, you know? Because of this terrain. Yeah, this terrain buffs up... Rocks, Zombies, and Dinosaurs.
I mean, the life point thing is always such a mess when it comes to power bonuses here, because it's always a flat 30% bonus. Even if that bonus does not result ending in like a 0-0, zero, zero, like 1,600 attack, you know? So because of that, it, it ends up resulting in some pretty hilarious things, you know? Like, like look at his life points right now. 2,570. Like, are you kidding me right now? 880. That's funny. Okay, dual victory. Deck capacity increased by 30. 1500 Domino was obtained. Sword Arm of Dragon was obtained. Nice. Darn, I lost. My dinosaur deck couldn't get it done. Well, it can't be helped. Take this card. Locator card. Okay. So once you do all of that, I believe the park finally unlocks. Yes, it does, as you can see. But I think before I head to the park, because uh, it's going to get a little bit tougher now in the park, before I do that, what I probably should do is actually go back into the card shop and just search for some stuff, you know, because my deck capacity is pretty high up there now. It's at 1,770, my, and I'm using 1,380 only. I mean, I have a lot of room for this, you know? I have so much that I can do. So let's see what I can do. Um, let's go ahead and sort this by attack, sure. There are a number of cards that are going to be very useful. Now, let's see, as far as these go, what does this do? I can't even see because my deck capacity is not that high yet. Okay. This guy, though. Too low, though. Shoot. That guy's good. Spread of the books. What about... Let's see. Giant Soldier? No. I'm looking at the effects. That one transforms the field into a mountain. This guy's useful. Mammoth Graveyard. An animated skeleton of a mammoth with a debilitating power. It can power down every monster on the enemy's field. Yeah. Very useful. Um... Toadmaster? Possibly. This card's pretty good too, 103 Costo. The thing is, if I get multiple copies of that at the moment, it's gonna be bad. Like, no. It's gonna really skyrocket my deck capacity up there. There is Fiend's Hand though, and you actually have three copies. I'm gonna buy all three. One, two, three. That card is very useful. Um, what, what does this do? What? Too low? Okay. Monster Eye? No. What the hell is this? It looks different. Look at that. They changed it in the, I guess, the North American release, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. That's funny, though. As far as equips go, there's not really much else I can do. Um, there's a source here, but that's too much. Spellbinding Circle is only 75. I think it's like 300 or something, maybe 200 in Reshef. There is Megamorph, and I believe this thing buffs up anything like two levels or something. Now, Harpy's Feather Duster is only two in this game, yet it does the same thing. It can sweep away all spell and traps. So I might probably want to do that and have that card. So I have three of those in my deck. This thing costs 20, widespread ruin, but it's actually very valuable to have. So I'm going to do that. Um, Torrential Tribute only costs 60. I'm gonna buy that one too, sure. And let's also buy an infinite dismissal, sure. Okay, let's take a look at what, okay, so I got three, three fiends hand. So with that, um, I actually wanna sort this out by summon. Okay, so let's see here. I need to get rid of tributes first because I have too many of those. So I have this guy who's an earth this guy was a shadow, and this guy who's a, what's a fiend. Okay, I'll get rid of that guy. I'm gonna put in. I mean, first of all, the three fiends hands. Let's do that. One, two, three. As you can see, it didn't really go up my deck capacity, so that's good. Um, next up is gonna be the use of. Because I have to get rid of these weak cards. I'm gonna get rid of one, two. Anything else that's weak? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I'll get rid of all those. Now I'm gonna head down here, let's see, one, two, uh, three, trying to tribute, four. Wow, I mean, look at this. This is like ridiculous. I've done all those nice improvements to my deck, yet it's still, as you can see, 
it's pretty much at the same level. Still. That means I can still do more things, more changes. So I believe the next thing I'm gonna do is start replacing a lot of monsters. So for now I'm gonna bring back this Uguchi. Because I need to, you know, have 40 cards or else I can't leave the menu. Let's go to attack again. So because I got pretty much every spell card that I want at the moment, I don't think there's anything else I need, right? Because I looked at them all pretty thoroughly. I don't think I mean maybe Harpy's Feather Duster, but it's only worth two. I'm gonna say that for later, honestly. There's Multiply, but, um, I need a Karibo for that, I don't know if I'll be doing that yet. But let's see, what else can I do? Also, I find this ridiculous. 585 for a, a Tribute 3000 defense, like, I don't understand that, man. A Tribute, like, 2500 attack is not even anywhere close to that, I don't get that. Okay, I want to buy... Where's it at? Also, yes, this is not a typo. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? <laughs> 255 for that shit card. Because yes, it can transform into a great mod, but it's not worth it. It is not worth that much. Nowhere near as much. Okay, here's an Hourglass of Life, which I'm going to buy. That's useful. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and buy... I think Toad Master would be nice. Wait, there's Goddess of Whim. Sacrifice yourself for, in exchange for drawing a card. Uh, Skell Angel's fine, honestly. I'm good with that. This guy. I'm gonna buy... Yeah, let's buy all three. And then I'm also gonna buy... I think Mammoth Graveyard. Where's Mammoth Graveyard? Where you at? Here you are. Okay. So... Let's go back into the trunk and sort by attack once again. So one thing I'm going to be doing now is to switch out, obviously, the shit cards, beginning with the Gucci that I put back. That's one, and then two, three, four. Okay. So let's see. Let's begin with, did I get any more spells and traps? I don't think so, right? Nothing there, nothing there. No, I think I'm good. Okay. So that means that it's just monsters. So I got an Hourglass of Life, which I'm for sure going to put. That, that card is really good. Let's do that. There you are. Let's also put a... What's next? No, not Skellingel, not... Uh, Totem Master. One, two, three. As you can see, now it's up there. Yeah, look at that. So, let's see. This thing is worth how much? 121. So if I were to get rid of a card to put Mammoth Graveyard in there, it's not going to work, unfortunately. Too much now. So the last thing I'm going to do then Instead of putting Mammoth Graveyard right now, what I'm going to do is look at my Tribute Monsters. So I only have two Tributes and then this guy over here who only has a cost of nine. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to put... Because that's a... Let's see, ten. And then Bolt Escargo is seven. Okay, so... If I put like... Hmm. Who should I put? Maybe this guy. Maybe that thing is a lot. 95 for that? Hell no. Spike bot. What, what attribute are you? Shadow? You're Shadow and you're Wind. So, like, can I do this? Like, take out. Take out one and two. And then put in Alligator Sword Dragon and also Spike bot. Yeah, perfect actually. Puts me at nine under. Okay, let's take a look at our final deck at the moment, you know? Just to see. So we have this guy, 2 Tribute Monster, which I'll be getting rid of soon, you know, eventually. Spike Bot. Alligator Sword. Okay, they're both Wind Tributes, and they're both, they're all Shadow and Wind. Then I have three Toad Masters. A Mask of Darkness. Doron. Scale Angel, Dharma Cannon, Mechelion, The Wandering Doomed. Abyss Flower, Penguin Soldier. Hourglass of Life, Frog to Jam, Morphing Jar, Geldog, or Hyrule Shadow. It's got three Fiend's Hands. Fiend's Hand. Mooka Mooka, Little Chimera, then Wretch Ghost, which is a Princess, White Dolphin, and Spirit Cretin. Okay, and then for Traps, three of these, two of these, Pot of Greed, Trunch Tribute, Back into Darkness, and one Infinite Dismissal. Okay. So, I mean, I'm good. Like, I really am good with all this. I think, like, for the future, I just gotta get rid of all these other cards that, have, that don't have effects and just put in better cards. Eventually, I'm going to put the Ancient Lamp and Spirit of the Books, you know? Just letting you know. 
Okay. So yeah, next time we're gonna go to the park and continue with the game. In, in between parts, I might grind a little bit. A tiny bit. The best way to grind, I didn't talk about this, but it's by going into... Dueling either Esperoba or Weevil. Because these actually give you 10 deck capacity per win. They give you 30 the first time, but 10 on repeats. Whereas normal Duelist, or like Tristan, will give you 5. So it's best to duel Esperoba and, you know, Bones by this point. Because they're easy and they give you double the amount. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.